Hey, 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 what's up everyone out there? Welcome back to the channel. Chill is here and man, yesterday whenever I got the news that we we're going to be getting some gameplay related content for Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom by Mr. Alnuma himself, then I could not be more hyped about this. We've been, it's been, uh, you know, a well hot topic about the content that we've got leading up to this point and maybe we'll get some answers to our questions or probably knowing and to know more questions than answers so this video is quite lengthy it's about 10 minutes or so this had just dropped this is my live off the cuff reaction to this so let's go legend of zelda tears of the kingdom and before we hit play on this momentous occasion make sure you hit that like button so hard it turns blue help boost me up the youtube algorithm to reach out to fellow game enthusiasts and zelda fans alike and hey if you haven't considered uh, subscribing to the channel consider subscribing we put out tons of updated new upcoming games collectors accessories and uh, speaking of such I predict that we're going to get an announcement which if you go back to my previous videos we predicted that the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom switch OLED is confirmed to be real we're thinking that it will be announced in this video so stay tuned for that to see if we're right and let's get into this hello everyone i'm ag aonuma producer of the legend of zelda series absolutely first let's go i'm so hyped for this guys development on the legend of zelda tears of the kingdom is now complete it's complete thank you very much for waiting Woo! It Many is of you done. Are looking forward to this game, and we've released a few trailers so far. Although it'll just be a brief glimpse, I'm going to actually a brief play glimpse. the game for you all no. today and show you what it's like. Come on. Okay. Let's begin. Here we are in the land. And of we're straight into it. Let's go. Like The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, there's a vast world to explore. Of course, it's not just the same world as is. It's changed in many ways. If we talk about all of the changes today, we'll run out of time, so we hope you'll seek them out <laughs> Let's for yourself hope, when the game launches. You'd have to tell me that this isn't Breath in of the Wild. In this game, the vast world of Hyrule reaches high into the sky. Okay. You'll notice some land masses floating up there. Yeah, look at that. We call them Sky Islands. Sky Islands. Ah, look at the You're environment. You're probably wondering something. How do you get to the Sky Islands when they're so high up? Cross my mind. Absolutely. If we take a look... Oh, something's falling from the sky. What is that? Do you see it? I wonder what that is. Let's head over to it. So that might be like our new we ability that everybody's object fell. been um, compiling in their minds of what Here this may be. So let's get some answers. Okay. Let's use one of Link's new abilities. If you do this on the rock that just fell. Okay, it's like a stasis Look, ability. It started rising. This power is known as recall, which rewinds an object. Recall. Since I just used recall on the fallen rock, I can now rise into the sky. We're a lot closer to the sky islands. Where it came Let's from. Let's use the paraglider okay. to reach one of them. Okay, then it would just straight up drop back off where it was. There are a few other sky islands floating here too. He is way up in that sky. I made it. That is there are lots of ways to reach the sky islands, so we hope you'll try a few. You see a dragon islands. off in the distance there. Okay. It's like a storm cloud. Now we're on a slightly bigger sky island. Just like on the surface, there are several man-made structures. Some trees are also growing here. You won't see many of those yellow trees on the surface, though. Let's walk around for a bit. There's a branch on the ground. When you find something like this, you should pick it up. It might come in handy later. A stick. Let's continue. We're still using sticks, oh, man. Something's there. This what is, is that? a brand new enemy called a construct. What we'll is fight it that? Using the branch we just picked up. 
Ah, the branch broke. Yep, we not still good, not good. We Quick, still stick a beaver branch, man. And we defeated it. A construct. Moving on. Very interesting. We've now explored more of this sky island. As expected, fighting with just a branch won't get us very far. Also, this branch is almost broken. So here's another one of Link's new abilities. If we use this branch and the rock over here and do this, look, we can stick them together. We created a makeshift. What camera. is that? This is called Fuse. You can fuse stick ability. objects together to create new weapons with various effects. Let's take on How another deep does that fuse go? Weapon. We're dealing with two of them at once. Oh, the thing's a lot more powerful. The Durable, too. Definitely improved. The other branch broke, but this weapon has much better durability. Yeah, it does. You can do all sorts of things by experimenting with the fuse ability. You can fuse two weapons, for example. If we take this long stick and fuse it with a pitch... No! Shut up. We can create a weapon with a much longer attack. Look at the size of that thing. That thing's this, like 11 feet tall, dude. Enemies, and we can safely attack from a distance. What you can also crap, fuse arrows with man. materials in your inventory. For instance, try fusing this leaf to an arrow. No. Fuse an ice That's elemental material material to an arrow and... You can freeze far away enemies. Very useful. In addition, do you have any idea how many useless items I had in Breath of the Wild in my inventory that can now be used? I would never use any of my inventory items like. Like ever, I got thousands and thousands of inventory items just like those. And now I can actually put them to use without going out and spending rubies. That is cool. That is cool. Hmm. Let's see. Ah, oh, there's a bird flying around. If you're out hunting, you might feel that aiming with an arrow is too difficult. Apparently, my eyes can't track fast-moving objects as of late, so my shots rarely land. So, at times like these... He almost got him anyway. Here's an eyeball you can get by defeating monsters. What are you going to do with that? Fuse it to an arrow and... An eyeball and an arrow? Look, Shut up. No... Let's, Let's try this on another bird. What? Fuse an arrow with an eyeball. I'll just fire in that general direction. And it just simple. tracks it. Depending on what you stick together, the fuse what ability the could also heck, be beneficial man. for hunting. I fused a mushroom to my shield. Now, you're probably wondering if this has any use. Like, endless well, capabilities. Actually a puff they room. adapted the cooking Let's mechanic into this. pretty much everything else. I blocked with the shield. No. Okay, there's smoke now. The you can straight up Yiga this fool. So, Yiga. Got him. Even if you struggle That's with combat, cool. you can take down enemies using similar methods. That in the is previous game, unique. You'd usually I've get seen a form by defeating strong form of but in putting this game, two, two weapons together weapon with something done else before in a video game. A weapon. There are even more gameplay options for sticking Look at the size together. of that Captain Caveman club he's got. Some of the Sky Islands the even have The size rivers. of these weapons are insane. We'll want to cross but I've never one, seen it done to this scale before. Well, so good on you for doing something that's never been done before. And it's of course, of course in a Legend of Zelda game. Here. Let's go. So, we'll lift up this log. Okay, this is where we saw Link putting some things in together from a ditch. Let's do one more. Or from the river. We'll bring this over here and attach a third log. And we didn't know if it was because of it was on a specific is side a mission this or is what. New ability called Ultra Hand. Ultra Even though hand. the logs are currently attached, they can be detached. Let's modify the shape of the raft. 
You can always attach things or oh, detach them like up. this. shut up. That is... Man. Us now, hardcore we put Legend of Zelda water, fans are going so to have an absolute heyday with this mechanic. We've made a simplified version of a boat. However, it like I thought it was advanced stage, using so we'll stasis on a tree to get a crop launched across the map, but hmm. now that they've here. adapted this Let's into it, try hitting it, it's like you can build oh, Lego-style crafting wind. within this universe, which is Looks absolutely like mind-boggling. I've never seen it. this game mechanic done like this before. We'll so many people this should make have the played well Breath of the Wild, and that is directly responsible for why okay, they're a gamer they're today, or why they've got All back right, into video games, the boat. into the community, and hey, it's moving. <sighs> it's this is going to be massive. Since we added two fans, we should be able to cross Look the river in no time. All right, we reached the other side. In the most recent trailer, yeah, look at we that. showed scenes of Link riding a large car and a flying machine. Those vehicles actually aren't in the game from the start. Instead, you'll be able they to were all freely made them uniquely. There are all sorts of objects you'll come across in this game. And depending on how you use your imagination, you can do a lot with them. So, try crafting Absolute different things and explore this world at your leisure. Class. There are even more new abilities. Take this building over here. Okay, watch this. Look, what? I passed right through the ceiling. This new ability is called Ascend. Ascend. If you're in a place with a ceiling, you can go through to the floor above you. There are some restrictions, but That's what's great sick. about this ability We've is been all curious ceiling, about him popping through the underside example, of these infrastructures and wondering what right the heck is he doing. If we he was using a send. No, that's... Come on. Talk about your Rivali's Gale. Okay. We Sorry, Rivali. You old school. Now, boy, you. In the previous game, you, you had to use stamina to climb a mountain. But in this game, if there's a mountain with a cave like this one, you can now get to the top That's without save having you to climb so all the way much up. time. Here's another example. Imagine you're Just stuck in a cave. Climbing alone. If it's got a ceiling, you know what to do, right? Exactly. Oh, anybody keep the link out? It seems to be holding a strange weapon. Some enemies are equipped with fused weapons, so battles will play out a bit differently from the previous game. Ah, it blew Whoa. me away with wind. That's so cool like that some sort of the enemies can actually use fused weapons as well. Ah, I got pushed off. He is so far up oh, there in well, the sky. Let's just return to the surface. You can quickly descend from the sky to the surface like this. It feels so good. In the sky, you'll be able satisfying. to look out across the land. Super satisfying. You can also search for destinations that pique your interest. The map looks Once so you've chosen big. your destination, you can speed things up like this. Let's dive into this river. Yeah, straight into the water. And we're back on the surface. That looked so good. There are still so many things I'd like to show you. Zero but frame let's rate, leave it at that for issues, now. or lag. What did you think? Some of Link's new abilities were updated from the previous game. I'm sure some of you watching me play were thinking, wait, if you could do that, then. 100% do this too. What I'm thinking, absolutely. In this game, you can do a like lot of things just by thinking about dancing. what's even possible. There's still a lot of new gameplay, mysteries, and encounters we couldn't show today, but they're all jam-packed into this unfamiliar Hyrule, and we hope you'll use your Let's imagination go. to explore it. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. That that can't be it. Give us give us 
give us more. Let's see, Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. 5 12 2023. We are so close. Is that it? We got more? We got more. That's it. Woo! <laughs> we did it. Alright, let's see if it's the one that was leaked. I guarantee you. There it is. Man, that's old news, bro. It's cool that we're actually getting one, though. We have not had a Legend of Zelda official licensed console for the Switch. And here it is. The OLED. Tears of the Kingdom. Edition. 428-2023. Oh, Pro Controller and case coming with it. So... That is the video, and man, let's go ahead and go back in here. Hello everyone, I'm Eiji Aonuma, producer of the Legend of Zelda series. And kind of discuss, let's get this fixed, all right. So, Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom, that was an absolute master class of a dem demonstration. It answered a lot of questions, but also opened up a floodgate of new questions that I have for myself of, you know, exactly what is the extent of this Fuse ability being able to pretty much use anything adapt anything add to another thing one thing i did notice that was really cool is one of your weapons on its last leg you can fuse it with an item i wonder how many times you can fuse an item i'm assuming you can only fuse it with one item at a time but that prolongs the durability and the shelf life of your weapons so if your weapon or a stick in this example was about to break in one more swing, you could fuse it with an item to increase its durability. It pretty much refreshes it so it gives you a lot more usefulness from your items that you have in your inventory. Um, you know, the Breath of the Wild is as a whole as far as the map goes was sufficient for me. This one looks like, you know, it looks very, very similar, if not one-to-one -one ratio of Breath of the Wild as far as the graphics. I did see some performance uh, performance enhancing enhancement, I'm sorry. Um, so like I didn't see any frame rate drops or anything like that. That remains to be seen. Of course, we didn't experience that in the trailers for Breath of the Wild. But whenever we actually play the game, there's several occasions where, you know, the frame rate drops. Whenever he was skydiving and hit the water, I expected to see a couple hiccups, but it was silky smooth. So let's, ha let's hope that carries over and they've addressed some of the frame rate issues that we've had in the previous game. You know, Breath of the Wild as a whole was such a an iconic game and very little can be said negative about it unless you really dive out into it to tear it apart for the most part the main complaint across the board was frame rate drops here and there type of thing so hopefully they address this um, honestly this one is a win in my book as far as what they've adapted it to be so far but also I just hope that the crafting ability and the storytelling is going to be, you know, different enough to differentiate this game from Breath of the Wild. I don't want everyone to continue to compare the two. I want, you know, hopefully, um, when we get this game and we play it for what it actually is, Breath of the Wild will not be in our memory. Um, as far as the comparative hopefully you know like i said fingers crossed we get this and it's a new adventures with the new experiences with new um new hyrule and, and everything you know we've been waiting a long time for this game and zelda fans across the world have um you know put their faith in a company that has completely captivated our hearts over the years 
and we've never had a direct correlation so close um, compared to, you know, um, Breath of the Wild to Tears of the Kingdom. So we'll see what happens. Um, again, I just hope that there's enough content to make this a standalone because I don't want this game to be outshadowed by Breath of the Wild because they're so uh, so similar alike in art style. Um, Link's character, I don't know what he's been gone through or going through, but he looks pretty barbaric. Uh, we didn't see any major cities um, as far as him actually going through. We saw another ranch which actually had the same soundtrack. Again, I don't want those things. I want a new soundtrack. I want a new experience out of my Legend of Zelda. I mean, we look back in, in Zelda history and we see, uh, you know, the, the vast difference between uh, two games that came out, say, Wind Waker and then Twilight Princess, and those things, uh, those specific games, you can say what you want about them, but they were their own entity, their own adventure environment, their own Hyrule, their own experience, and I don't want to experience Breath of the Wild. I've played, you know, thousands of hours into that game, and I've done everything there is to do, um, and I want a new experience. You know, I want to play Tears of the Kingdom. I don't want to play Breath of the Wild. So uh, that's my two cents, my thoughts on what we just witnessed, and uh, we have to jump on board and see if we can get uh, a copy of this uh, collector's edition or special edition, whichever verbiage they use, to see if we can get this. I'm so glad I waited for the OLED. Uh, so that I can actually get the Legend of Zelda version of if I would have went out and purchased in OLED like a lot of my gamer friends have unfortunately that are massive Zelda fans you know they're out double because they come out with the Tears of the Kingdom uh, edition you know months after the OLED uh, had launched so um, I'm glad I waited I hope some of you have you know been patient enough to wait for the OLED to come in, or the uh, Tears of the Kingdom edition to come in, um, but uh, that's where we're at guys. Thank you all for tuning in for this wonderful, wonderful rendition of Tears of the Kingdom uh, demonstration. Again, if you, uh, if you would, please hit that like button, and we're trying to hit 1,000 subscribers. We're so close, so do us a favor, hit that subscribe button. Stick around, check out our other content. We got tons to enjoy. Until next time, ladies and gents, I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.